This is Home Matters with Pete and Rob on the all-new 97.3 Cairo FM Weekend. Learn. Laugh. Relax. Hey, I'm Pete. And I'm Rob. And this is Home Matters. 97.3 Cairo FM Weekend. How you doing there, Roberto? I'm all right, Pete. Good. Yeah, we're back at it here. So uh, yeah. today we're going to be talking about... Um, Tools around the house. So this is, uh, I guess, the tools that every man and woman should own for That's right. small repairs and things you can do yourself. Everything that every every homeowner, whether it's a part, yeah, I should say, I should say, uh, caveat with that is a uh, apartment owner. Anybody that's got a door or sink in their life should yeah. have some tools on hand. Yeah, you know, one thing though, I got to tell all you guys out there is, um, you know, the thing we do not want to give Robert is the sawzall. That's just yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Now I am I am the atypical, like you know, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. He, he used to have this. Hey, I've got tools that fix tools. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you've got it bad when you find. Find yourself at the hardware store, and I need a tool <laughs> to fix my tools. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, the key things is you you think about what we have to do around the home, and you know, these are not um, you know large rot repairs or build a deck. We're we're talking exactly. more about hey, uh, you want to hang a picture, or your cabinet door in your kitchen is loose, or right. you've got maybe um, a leaky. Um, uh, pipe or something like that, yeah, that you just want to tighten you know the, the thing that i you know the one that i always like to tell people is a uh you know you never need it until you need it right yeah so why would i need a screwdriver well you know when you need a screwdriver you when something happens and it's like dang i gotta get this off the floor or i gotta stop that leak or yeah. whatever or i use uh, screwdrivers to pop the top of my beer bottle oh yeah that's, right, yeah, that's right yeah you know, multi-purpose <laughs> tool that's right that's you know tools can be multi multi-purpose and handy that's, so that's right so you know, right tool for the right job Pete. yeah exactly yeah. well screwdrivers are great for beer you know <laughs> it's good so hey um so i wanted uh, to to talk about kind of maybe what should be in their toolbox what are some of the the tools we would recommend um as it relates to hand tools let's talk about that first before we get into the power tool piece. right well one of the things that you know i'd like to remind people out there is you know you get what you pay for you know yeah, but, um so a lot of times people will see you'll see the 97 piece toolkit for sale on uh the end cap and like oh yeah i needed a screwdriver but the the you know if you're lucky you get one use out of these some these tools sometimes and yeah. and then they break yeah or they don't do the job I've, I've even you know i've i've fell for this before too you know oh that's a that's a great deal i, I buy the set and it doesn't even work the first time because yeah. these things are so cheap right so my first piece of advice would be don't cheap out you know when when you think about the tool that you need for the job go ahead and, and spend a little extra uh you know uh I always like to go American made myself, right, but you know, right. everybody's got their own philosophy, but you look for quality and right. don't be afraid to spend a little money. This is the kind these, the tools that we're going to talk about are the kind that you're going to want to have around for a long time. Sure. And you're going to, and like I said, when you're freaking out because uh, water spraying all over the inside of the, the kitchen cabinets, you know, you don't want to be sitting there fiddling around and trying to make shift with uh, something that's, that's not going to do the job. Right. So, right. So let's talk about that first then, Robert. I, you know, one of the things, I guess, the, the one of the basic tool sets is we all have, um, you know, we need screwdrivers. We need oh, yeah. flatheads, Phillips heads. And, right. you know, talking about what you said about buying cheap is, you know, I noticed a lot of the cheap ones, the the metal is really is soft. It's really bad. And, I've, uh, I've actually had uh, screwdrivers I've taken out of the package, gone to, to turn a screw, and the head shears right off. Yeah. First twist. Yeah. yeah, it's, you know, like I said, it's one of those things that you get uh, get what you pay for. Right. So if and, you're going to go in your, like, a big box store or a hardware store or, you right. know, Harbor Freight Tools or whatever, yeah. Find a Not, good, a good American. Don't get me started on her. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, uh, I, they do just have so, some good just stuff. so you know, the right guy, I, I don't care if they want to be a sponsor. I don't want yeah. them. I, just, I, can't, <laughs> I cannot get behind Harbor Freight. Sorry. So, but um, talking about that, so you know, when you talk about a good screwdriver set, we want to get a you know a multitude of different sizes. We want right. to get flathead, which is the flat piece. The what I would set. suggest, you know, before somebody goes out and buys a whole set of uh, screwdrivers and different sizes and such like that, I would say, you know, and for a guy like you and me, you know, where, you know, you know me, Pete, I've literally got a, a shipping container full well, of I'm tools the same way, but on my for property. Me, everything's power. And, I, I, would, and I, I am the guy that'll go out and buy the 45 yeah. piece <laughs> screwdriver set. But, you know, for the average homeowner, I would say a number two Phillips screwdriver, yeah. right? D just go out and buy one screwdriver that's going to, 
be right in the mid range. It's going to hit most of the screws in the house that they're going to want to use, sure. and that's a number two. So, so what, Robert? What's a so what does a number two mean? What is that? Well, they the they size? size. So you'll look at when you go to look at the screwdriver some, uh, uh, at the store, you'll see a whole range of uh, sizes, uh, lengths of handle, uh, size of the the uh, head that actually fits into the screw, and the number two is pretty much standard. So that's the one that's going to be in the middle of the road. It's going to hit most of the small uh, okay. small screws. It'll, it'll be able to turn them and, and some of the larger ones. And they'll work outside their range fairly well. Mm -hmm. But you know, So you start getting up into a size uh, 4 and 5 Phillips head screw. That's something the mechanic's going to use that's right. going to be using on equipment. You're it's not going to bigger. find those yeah. in your average apartment or home. Yeah. Okay. So it's most of them are going to be. So that's a good two. recommendation, and uh, you know, buying uh, something that's American made is probably a good idea because they do make good quality products, and Always. it's really only a couple right. bucks more. So you're not right. really saving. All well, that that's that's what I, I I always like to point out to people. You know, if you're worried about jobs and the economy and stuff like that, so, uh, you know, a, a couple extra bucks if if you're in, you know, if you're already out there spending it, I, I support the neighbor. You know, right. I'd like to think them the same way. They come back to me. Right. They need my that's service right. and stuff. Like so that. let's talk. I guess uh, so. That's our screwdriver set, and you can either do that with hand tools or power tools. We'll get into that too and how to buy those things here um, later on in the show but how about now with tape measures that's something that everybody needs to make measurements on things even if you're putting in you know a towel countertop and you need to make right. a measurement to take to a contractor or to a, a, a store that you can get materials just there. a simple just a simple retracting uh, a tape measure a 12 footer any anybody that you know i can't think of anything that average homeowner is going to need you know like that you know i have never met a guy that would buy a 12 foot tape measure that this serious? is true bigger is better right <laughs> 25 feet but just <laughs> just for the record i drive compact cars i compensate for nothing thank you uh but no, you don't need the you don't need the thirty foot fat max that will reach out you know twenty five feet before breaking you know or or the hundred foot. Uh, that's how I measure my tape measures. Yeah, how far well, I can stick them out there. Let's let's keep it simple, though, Pete. We're <laughs> okay. talking about the average homeowner, right? <laughs> okay. We're not we're not going to be building uh, you know tilt up concrete buildings yeah. here or anything like that. So yeah. But there are some you know as far as the tape measure, that's true. Um, I like the wider ones just because they do uh, they do they don't buckle. As right. So if you need. And reach there's a you know the self stop on them right um you don't need the other fancy things with the laser oh, lights yeah, and all that right. other things just some basic measurements be so. careful too because yeah. a, a, a lot of times right on the rack right next to them you'll find the engineering tape measures yeah and they're, their engineering tapes are in different increments and they look the, the crying shame is they look exactly like any other tape right and you pull it out and you start taking measurements and things don't work out. Well, that's because the increments are completely different there, right, it, right. engineering tape measures. So. And then what about getting into some of the, um, I guess, some of the other hand tools related to like, uh, you know, crescent wrenches, vice grips, things like that. Right. You know, let, let's talk about what the heck those things are. A good adjustable wrench, you know, you don't have to go out and buy a, a 50 piece uh, uh, wrench set, boxed end, you know, open end wrench set. A, a decent 12 inch crescent wrench is going to hit most of the things that you need in your household. Yeah. So an adjustable wrench, you know, and everybody. So, Rob, do you buy a left or right hand crescent wrench? Oh, I buy one for both hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, for those of you that don't know, it doesn't matter. It <laughs> yeah. keeps yanking my crank over here. You, yeah. <laughs> there, there's no such thing. You know, so, I have a funny story about that, though, because uh, when we were out at a construction site, I had a college kid that was working for us, and um, we set him out to, buy, to find some left hand nails. And he was out there oh, in the garage yeah. for half an hour trying to find the left hand nails. Boss and is always just cracking up. Boss is always happy when I he know. finds out you spend his money that way. Yeah, spend, <laughs> you did what with, it, with my laborer all day? Yeah. yeah. yeah another piece of, of equipment that a lot of people don't think about is maybe a pair of safety glasses. You know, yes, um, that's you very, know, very right. True. Have that in the toolbox. You never know what you're going to up, get up against. Uh, you know, I I tell uh, like my students at the the college. I tell them, hey, you know, if there's one thing that I don't want to go home without, it's my eyesight. Right. You know, you only I, get I can, one pair of eyes. Right. That's that right. So true. That's right. You know, very I'd important. I'd I'll take a big scar in the face. You know, a big dent in the forehead. But yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen that dent in your forehead. Yeah. You know, yeah, there's. Yeah, I'm telling you, this school of hard knocks, you, Mister. You've been there and done that with your fingers, your head. <laughs> that's everything. right. I didn't. Yeah. I'm the I'm the, I'm the typical Believe person. Me, didn't bring Rob knows. He home. knows about safety tips now. He's learned mm. the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. School of hard knocks, mister. Uh, something else, you know, a good claw hammer. Yeah. In the toolbox, you're going to want uh, it's uh, and a lot of these tools, like like you're saying, you know, they're multi-purpose tools. Right. You right. don't have to go out and buy that single use. It's going to do like um, the one 
you'll you'll see a plumber that has the uh, the sink wrench, that the right. extendable wrench that reaches way up behind the uh, the bowl in your sink to get at those those uh, uh, hard to reach uh, connections way up above. Uh, the sink bowl and everything, but yeah. you don't need to go you out and buy those. those. Yeah. But a good a good claw hammer with a um, a, a decent uh, uh, face on it, not not the waffle head, you know, because right. if you want right. to do fit, you want to do finish work or something like that, you don't want to put a bunch of dimples yeah. in the. So just a decent, I'd say like an eight ounce yeah. Uh, yeah. finish hammer with a nice claw on it, and I wouldn't get one of the big curved ones. You know that, yeah, I was just gonna say that. When you get into hammers, just try to stay away from the hook claws. The, the straight claws are great. My dad right. taught me that when I was a young boy exactly. we were building, and um, you know, it just is a lot more functional to get into spaces. Right. Um, you don't have to fight the hammer. And you'll find more uses work. for it, too. Yeah, you know, exactly, a lot of times that, exactly. that, that curved claw, there's one use, pulling nails, and that's right. it. Right. You know? And then let's talk about, I guess, vice grips. Vice grips are um, something Always. that everybody has to have. These are the ones where you have the little screw uh, knob on the end. Adjustable, tighten it, right. It's adjustable. Mm -hmm. It's great for grabbing onto things uh, to make sure you can loosen. They've got a little nuts. wire cutter yeah. on them. They double the as a cutter. plier. Right. Yeah, right. it's just a great multiple purpose tool. Right. And you know all these tools, uh, Rob. You know they run. Um, what are we looking like between ten and twenty dollars? They're not expensive. A piece, if you get a good yeah, quality. yeah. If <clears throat> when I not, say spend the money to get yeah. a decent one, you know, if you're saving two or three bucks to get the six dollar crescent wrench, yeah. And then there's the crescent brand wrench right next to it for eight bucks. Hey, yeah. don't get the crescent brand. Right. Those people have been making the wrench. They invented it. You know. So, I think yeah. They know how to. You know. Yeah. So the key, I guess, the key thing, Rob, really is just. You can outfit a whole toolbox probably for less than a hundred dollars with everything that you right, need. and that and that's another key is answer. have a good toolbox and that you know you've got a place where there you know where it's at all the time keep it organized and everything so yeah yeah you always want to have a, a, a these tools on a short run because usually when you want them it's like oh no here we got to get it done so yeah yeah so I guess just to, you know to recap here um, before we move on to the next segment of the show we talk about some I you know I want to get into talking about duct tape because you know I think oh, that's a great thing you we'll, can't we'll get fix back it, when we come back it, we're going <laughs> to right. talk about all about that <laughs> and then we'll get into power tools but you know just to recap for everybody if you have a piece of paper out and a pencil handy you know some of the things we talked about in that ten to twenty dollar range you know we want to have the safety glasses flashlights a good one oh yeah a carpenter's pencil that's the flat lead pencil right um, have screwdrivers like Rob said a, a note tab note taking pad notes. is good. Yeah. Um, when you go to the hardware store, so you don't make on yes, the trips. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tape measure is good. Crescent wrench, a vice grip. Um, these are all good common tools. And then, you know, a good metal toolbox. I don't really like the plastic ones. I think they're cheap. Yeah. You just get yourself a good metal a one. A decent one that's going to last, yeah. yeah. So coming up uh, here on Home Matters, we're going to get into some of the things, uh, duct tape, wood glue, uh, some of the stuff like that. We'll four talk about power, power tools. Tool, four power, power tools, tools ah, every ah, 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 man ah. should own. That's right. <laughs> if there the were four. used to say, we got to love that. But, you know, this is, uh, you know, it's for, for women, too. We, everybody needs to know how to use power tools. Oh, yeah. And, there's uh, there's no reason. Yeah. In their home. So, um I like a I like a woman with a power tool in her hand. Oh, I'm telling awesome. you, man. <laughs> all right, so when we come back, we'll uh, we'll cover all those things. So I'm Pete, and I'm Rob, and this is Home Matters, 97.3 Cairo FM weekends. Home Matters is on with Pete and Rob on the all new 97.3 Cairo FM weekend. All right, we are back. I'm Pete, and I'm Rob, and this is Home Matters, 97.3 Cairo FM weekends. All right, so how you doing over there? All right, hey. Okay. Really, okay. we're we're gonna do we're gonna go over duct tape, right? Really. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, duct tape is uh, one of these things that we all have seen. We all probably have a roll somewhere in our house. I'm telling but, you, it's the miracle, you know, it's miracle like, cure, man. You gotta you gotta ask the question. So, what really is duct tape? It's not used to tape your toilet seat. It's not used it's to not, tape your husband's mouth. It's not duct. <laughs> but we could it's, do it. it's not duct quack quack, right? It's duct <laughs> air duct tape, yeah. right? <laughs> so yeah, with the you know the duct tape is really in, in ventilation systems in your home. It's right. for the piping to actually and it's really good tape for the joints, and it's great for that. It, yeah. It's very strong. Yeah. It holds up, and now I guess they even have it in different colors. Oh um, yeah. So you can use it for a lot of things. I guess you could use it to, if you're a college kid, you could tape up the rip in your couch. Wart removal. Uh, wart <laughs> removal is good. I know uh, you break. got a I seam love in that. a carpet that you could lift up the two seams it and tape it. It works, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really works. So it's a, it's a good home remedy. It is it's a, for everything. It's like a like I said, it, if you can't fix it, duck it, man. That's right. <laughs> you know? I, I don't care what I know there's been it, many times it, where I wanted to walk over and duct tape the, it. I'm telling you, man. You know, all the money I spent on therapists after the divorce and everything, it's just a roll of duct tape. I know. Oh, it would have been a lot cheaper, problems. less than five bucks, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, who would have known? So anyway, that's added. A uh, good roll of duct you know, tape. We you want to put that in the toolbox. Yeah, that's a good duct tape's good. Um, you know, actually, we were we were talking here uh, it, during the break uh, with our buddy Jason, and he was bringing up the Hercules hook. And I, <laughs> oh god, I, that thing actually is really good. I, I you know, I gotta like, admit, I've, ne- or whoever, I've never seen it. Yeah, well, I don't well, know what it Hercules, is. Pete. It's like a, it's like a big fish hook, and you actually stick it in your wall, and it rotates behind the wall, and it could, you know, they talk about supporting all this weight. Right. And I, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be a great experiment you could hang your little kids from it <laughs> use the duct tape it actually holds right, up. I, mean, I don't recommend that up, but use i think be, i've always thought about that if i had little kids i want to i want to see if i could hang my kids from the right, hooks you right. know it'd be kind of cool you know, sounds like actually, a saturday night live skit, and i bet you the kids would probably love it yeah. <laughs> the hercules yeah, hook but there are you know it's funny we talk about things on tv um and there are some things that are really scammy and i know you right know, i've got i've got a time, philosophy if the if you need an infomercial to sell your product yeah. i probably don't want it or need yeah, it yeah but that's true like but you there said, some good you stuff said out that, there. That, yeah the hercules hook is good I, I actually tried that too and they're they're good little hooks um you know the other thing too every and i'm sure a lot of you out there that are listening you've had this maybe happen to you but um in my company at Handyman Matters, actually, I, I love HDTV and I love uh, the shows because what they do is they edit these shows down, and oh, yeah. so they give you part of the steps. And we get a lot of calls. Oh, from yeah. people to say, uh, so they get halfway project, torn apart in the house. <laughs> yeah. Now who do we call to fix so, this? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, just remember when you're watching shows, and we'll, we're going to talk about bathroom modeling, kitchen remodeling, and all this kind of stuff in you know, future shows. But the key thing to remember is those shows are great. They're great for ideas. Um, just know what your skill level is. You know, we're talking man's got to know his limitations. Yeah. yeah, if you if you have the capability to do tiling, great. But if you don't, it's good to get ideas about what kind of tiling you want, the right. designs and things like that. But you know, leave that up to the pros. Same thing right. with electrical or plumbing. You know, we have uh, SME Electric as a sponsor. We have Beacon Plumbing as a sponsor on the show, and those guys really, really know. Yeah, what they're you, doing yeah, in that area. you, you got to know when to call in the pros. Exactly. So, how about our our power tools, Pete? You know, power four, tools. Four, four power yeah, tools those. that everyone should yeah. own. Yes, baby. And, and when when I think of that, when I think of that, the first the first one I think of, and every everybody goes for, is the cordless power drill. Right. Yeah. So, and and I would suggest that that's at the top of the list, right? You know, actually, power tools. I always think of your your lawnmower at home, and I was going to actually oh, bring up geez. a little uh, beer no, dispenser. No. You know, a oh, cup God, holder yeah. there, and uh, that that's a great it's a great power tool. Oh, I thought you were going to get into my, me tearing it down to parade rest. You want to tell? <laughs> no, you want to tell? We, we, we already we oh, covered okay. that one already. But yeah, it's true. You get back to um, drills are, are tree. There's lots of things you can use a drill for. Uh, right. It's not just for. No, it's not just for drilling anymore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, how much would you pay? No. So. But you can use it's great. It's great for drilling. Uh, you get the little number two uh, Phillips head bit that goes in there. Now you've got a power uh, uh, screwdriver, right? right? Uh, you can. Act, they actually have attachments for grinding. So right. if you need like a little Dremel bit on there, you can uh, hone something down if it's getting a little right. uh, uh, out of shape and stuff like that. You know, that. one so, thing to consider too. You talked about the the actual you know screwing in of things they have the torque settings on the the drills exactly down. So, so you don't you won't overdo it to, overdo it or drive it right. into the wall right and then you know let's talk a little bit about you know i'm a big believer in anything i can go cordless or wireless on oh. I'm yeah. doing it. So, right. let's well, talk about the cordless drills and right. you know, they've come a long way with the lithium ion batteries. Right, and, that, like that. and that's great. But something you ought to keep in mind too that if you've got a lot of work to do, you don't want the battery driven because those those even with the lithium <clears throat> ion, you're only going to get 15, 20 minutes of of peak power out of those and they start to they start to come down and you're not getting as much work done so if you've got That's a whole, whole plan rob yeah if you've got <laughs> i'm just saying if you've got a whole bunch of drilling that you want to do get yeah. a cord yeah it, yeah no cord is great right. uh, but but you know you got to have your beer breaks when you need them so I'm, I'm telling you cordless is good because when the battery runs out yeah, well, yeah, now you can wait anymore. for sorry <laughs> now you can wait for it to charge back <laughs> that's up. right number so, two let, what's let, number two let's on let's talk about so what's a good i know you know makita dewalt uh ryobi's great i, I you know, swear by i swear by dewalt and this is why and it's not it's not the top of the line right you can go out and you could probably spend yeah. two three hundred dollars more for a a a cordless tool, right. I, I, you know, I'll just like go a Milwaukee or, or something like that, right? They, or a, heavy a, industrial a porter cable, porter you know, cable. Yeah. The, some of these top, you could go out and spend more, but for a good middle of the road, uh, by the time this thing, uh, by the time I've gotten my money's out, money's worth out of this thing and it breaks, I'm going to go, okay, it's time to go buy a new right. one. 
right? right. So I'm not going to feel bad about when this thing breaks. I go out and spend top dollar on the best tool, and everything does eventually break down after you use it. Right. You know, I spent that top money. I don't care if I got my money's worth. I was, God, this yeah. thing was top of the yeah. line, and it finally broke on me. And you can, you know, you shouldn't be really spending any more than $150. And, you know, some right. of the key things, too, in that is you want to make sure that these things fit your hands. Everybody's hands are different, men and women, even, right. you know, within man's hand sizes are different, women's hand sizes. Right. Make I, sure something I, fits your hands is comfortable. When I talk about my cordless drill, I'm talking about a $300 DeWalt, you know, and it's got all the high torque, the 18 volt, but you don't have to have that. As a yeah. homeowner, yeah. you can get some really nice power uh, uh, drills that are made specifically, and they've got all these little adapters that you can put a, a drill bit in there, you yeah. can put a Phillips head in there. They're, they're a great multi-tool, and you don't have to have the $300 DeWalt that that yeah. I use. You and know, you have so. something to play with all day long. That's right. You can, you can. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, the, the other three I would suggest, and you know, we won't go into great depth here, but that's the top of my list. I'd say a good power a power drill or, or, cord, or a okay. cordless, cordless drill or cordless screwdriver, right? Right. And running down the list uh, from uh, three to number four that I would say you want to have in there is a good reciprocating saw. Right. Uh, or it doesn't even have to be a reciprocating saw, maybe a jigsaw. What is a reciprocating saw? What is a jigsaw and how are they different? Right. It's instead of like a circular saw where the, the work is done with rotation, you just have a single straight blade that goes back and forth. So that's a jigsaw. That's a the jigsaw. Right. Saw or a reciprocating. A when people saw. say reciprocating saw, you're thinking of a bigger jigsaw like a, um, a sawzall. Right. So you don't need you don't need a sawzall, but you know a good reciprocating saw like a small jigsaw for forty fifty dollars. Maybe that's what you're going to want to have around. You, you can cut all yeah. kinds of things all day long with that. A good um, uh, multi tool. Yeah, a, a good multi tool is something we have, and um, we're going to talk about that, Rob, just um, right after we come back. Okay. Um, so you know some of the, the couple tools that must have tools. Rob will talk with you about uh, right. to put in your your power tool. Right, box. <laughs> that's right. We got our hand tool. We got the power tools. We love those. Power right. Yeah. <laughs> All of us, guys. So um, we'll catch that when we get back here. I'm Pete. I'm Rob. And this is Home Matters. 97.3 Cairo FM Weekends. Home Matters is on. Here's Pete and Rob on the all-new 97.3 Cairo FM Weekends. And we're back, and I'm Pete. And I'm Rob. And this is Home Matters. 97.3 Cairo FM Weekends. All right, Rob. So we were talking about power tools. We're, we're right. back here. We're going to talk about uh, multi-tools or zip saws. Zip I love yeah. these babies. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're like the tool I, I would own. Right. They, they, these are the tools. Like I said, I like to look for a tool that's not going to do just one job. If I'm going to spend the money, if I, how yeah. much use can I get out of that? Now, obviously, there's certain situations like a, you know, a, a tile saw. Yeah. You know, that, that's what... It, you're going to do with it. you're not going to be driving nails with that baby and yeah. go out and spend 500 bucks on a decent tile saw which i don't assume that average homeowner should own you yeah, know exactly. we're talking about you and me on on the pro side but you know <clears throat> when it comes to power tools they've got great multi-tools like the yeah. zip saw so that you can do uh, you can uh, notch out a little hole in the oh, drywall yeah. if you're going to put a yeah. speaker in the zip it, you know cut the door jams if you're doing a flooring project cut you can off put nails a, in the window cut bolts if they're rust they've got a little you sander head on there yeah. they've got little dremel fit, fittings that yeah. go on there yeah. so these are great you can slash tires with them <laughs> i mean they're great if I, that's your I, thing you Pete, what, you, <laughs> how old are you again 15 <laughs> 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 I can even come after your cat with a zip tool. How about that? Yeah. My cat's 17 years old. Yeah, he'd probably outlive us both. Uh, he probably would kill me, too. <laughs> but, but, yeah, the zip tools are great, and they do have a lot of different tool uh, attachments to them. Right. And, boy, you can do just about anything. For your money, yeah. It's about 100 bucks to get one of those things. Right, and then the you, you've got a good. multitude of yep. little tools that you can hook on there, and it can, it's going to do all these little different jobs yeah. for you. Yeah, the one I really like, by the way, is it's. I think it's called Rotozip. It's a black, and it's got the red red lettering. You can right. get it at any big box store. They've got a little right. flashlight to light up the work yeah, and they have all there. kinds, there's of, all tool kinds of great the stuff so i love perfect. those multi-tools yeah. yeah let's also talk about um so we got that and then the other one that well i'll tell you what brad nailers uh, oh yeah there that's guns. another one of those uh, you know when i was growing up uh you know working with my dad in the 60s we used to put in all these hand panels and i there was one house we built it was a mammoth one it had redwood 
ceiling panel was all tongue and groove and we actually had to lay there for weeks with this nails in our oh mouth, yeah the little brad the hammer seasons. oh my if God. we would add a brad nailer it would have been done in a few hours well the, you know? the cool thing that's another one of those things it's like a multi-purpose tool you know it's great for making the quick little fix tacking something back mm -hmm. up that's falling down the finish or whatever right but also <laughs> like if i'm trying to glue something back together yeah. instead of trying to tape it all together and hold it just right while the glue sets one little brad and you yeah. can get these things for 25 30 bucks you can get yeah. a nice little electric brad nailer at any one of your hardware stores right. you know right. and it's just a great tool to have as far yeah. as power tools go to have around that's going to get a lot of work it's, done for good. you you're going to get your money's worth and then some yeah. from and this. if you you know if you do if, I mean, if you guys have the money to spend you want to move up a little bit the porter cables with the the, the compressor the air tools are just oh, fabulous yeah. they last it lasts a lifetime they're a little spendier you yeah, learn how to use a compressor we're, ta we're talking but, about your average homeowner i, I know yeah, well, you, you, i know but uh, you know your average we're not talking about my container my container full of tools. spring for something like that you know and uh, you could you know right. use it for target practice yeah, in the yard too, so <laughs> yeah if you yeah, if you're Actually, like you, you and me that, where you rip the you rip the safety out of it right yeah that they don't allow that all these stories about people getting shot in the head yeah right exactly that's where you want up to their brain remember the safety glasses we were talking about earlier yeah you might want to have those on <laughs> but those are great and i you know the other thing about brand dollars i i cannot say how many times you are in a tight spot where you're up in the corner and it's upside down you can't and it's like you would never be able to to, right. to drive a nail in or a brad nail with a hammer right it's just impossible exactly. yeah. you'd split the wood they are hand, a, a little so brad handy. nailer like i said they're so yeah. cheap and uh, the electric it, ones are great they're right. good enough yeah it, the yeah, it's going to get the job done and then some. And and then when the thing wears out, you know, you're going to throw it away, go buy another one. It's going to be yeah. like disposable, yeah. right? So those are the, you know, just I guess um, there's but, other things to have in your box. Just to kind of recap, if you do have a pencil and paper, really the key things that Rob and I are talking about here is, you know, one, a good cordless drill. Um, whether it's battery operated or it's 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 corded, those are good. Uh, reciprocating saw, so this is your rotational, your skill saw, a jigsaw is a, is a good thing. This is the straight blade that goes up and down. This can, these are both cutting tools. Mm -hmm. uh, then we want to get into the zip saw, though. I love oh, that yeah. zip saw. If I were to pick one tool to buy um, at the top of your list, that would be it, other than a drill. We'll we'll have we'll have uh, we'll have cordless drill wars. My my corded my cordless <laughs> drill against zip your zip saw. saw. That's yeah. Right. There we go. And then uh, a brad nailer is good. And then we didn't talk, but having um, some kind of a sander, a chisel, and maybe a grinder too. Grinders a little more. Well, specific, that's what that's where I come back to the like the multi tool because yeah. a lot of those have attachments that, that go yeah. go to all of that. Exactly. So it's one one yeah. tool that covers all that. So that's really, that's your list of tools um, for the power tool piece. Now you know, Rob. Let's talk a little bit about renting tools and why would you R rent right versus buy? Well, that, that, the first thing when you think about renting a tool is like something that you're gonna how many how much use are you gonna get out of it? Right. right? The tools right. we've talked up to now, you're gonna maybe use on a weekly basis a monthly basis you're going to have those around all the time yeah uh, most people if they're going to uh need a ditch witch that's maybe a one-time use yeah. right so we're yeah. not going to even then you know with a ditch witch I, it's sometimes it's good to call in a pro on some of those things you want to mess that's with. the other although point that you I know rob i will it. tell you i've always wanted to own a bobcat i'd like to commute to work in a bobcat <laughs> i think that would be like the coolest thing ever so well, you wouldn't have to worry about traffic just yeah, i know things just, out i'll of just the way. Right. drive over them but the consideration the consideration for for the uh uh rentals is you know amount of use right. and and your price tag on it right so right. if right. i'm not going to go out and rent an eight dollar shovel right yeah. you can rent a shovel they, they will rent you shovels but eight bucks yeah i'm probably going to go out and buy yeah. myself a shovel so let's right? go back to that uh, you know that ditch witch thing you're talking about so what the heck is a ditch witch oh it's it's a basically a big powered shovel this thing will dig a nice straight line usually it looks like a giant these things look like a giant um uh chainsaw on wheels yeah and it's basically it'll dig a, a uh, like a yeah. 12 inch wide ditch for you down to a certain depth yeah. but, well you know if you want the old saying if you want to dig the china yeah. I think if you want to press your kids, get a ditch witch because you can dig the china. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you. you. Yeah, but a, like, a, like I said, that's one of those. There, you'll be way down that's in the hole. One of those things, Pete. I'm telling you, call in the pro. Don't go out. <laughs> call in the pro to dig the china. Right. Uh, I, I will do that. Yeah. It might be a pricey though. I'm telling you. <laughs> I think that I think actually you get a break after the first 200, 300 feet. feet. Yeah, okay. right. So as you get closer. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, but another thing to consider on rentals, you know, maybe maybe it's time if you start doing the calculations on on how long you're going to have it. Yeah. 
what the rental cost is. What I tell people is yeah. if you start approaching half the cost of buying this thing for your rental, so if I'm going to have it for a, a, a month and a half, and I do the math on how much it's going to cost to rent that for a month and a half, yeah. and I've, I'm have i paying for the rental is costing me half of what it would be to go out and buy it, right. I'm going to go buy it. And even if I don't want to have it around, because what yeah. I'm going to do is when I'm done with it and I'll never use it again, then I'm going to turn around and sell it. And yeah. I'll probably get a better deal that way as far as... Well, you know, the other thing to consider too, Rob, and this has happened to me and a lot of people, you start buying some of these tools like towel saws and things, it has a thing called the friend factor. Right. And what, what <laughs> I mean by that is when your friends know that you have yeah, this oh, yeah. tool, yeah, you start... then they're going to do one of two things. And it usually works out the second way. The first way is they ask you if they can borrow the tool. Yeah. But usually what it is is the second way, which is, hey, could you come, come over, over and, and help me with this project yeah. since you have the tool? And yeah, then you get exactly. roped into all these exactly. different projects you don't want to do. Right. So that's the other thing about buying a rental tool is, um, you know, uh, keep it simple. Right, exactly. Uh, it keeps the friend factor down. Too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hope we helped out a little bit here and get, uh, clear up some of the, the stuff on what you should have around yeah. and, and uh, some of the tool, uh, what you should spend and, and uh, where you shouldn't spend. Yeah. So yeah, And, you know, uh, just, just so you guys all know, I know there's a lot of things we covered here, both in hand tools and power tools. Uh, we will have this listing of the recommended uh, hand tools and power tools up on mynorthwest.com my slash home matters so that you can go up there and you can take a look and download it. Um, you know, and make sure that you have a list to get uh, in your toolbox and around the home. So um, that's our show for today. I'm Pete. I'm Rob. And this is Home Matters. Until next time, 97.3 Cairo FM.